friends now we are going to the third point as i already told you we are taking the epistle uh, portion as our uh, basis for the third point that comes from second corinthians fifth chapter 16 to sixth chapter 10th verse and uh, in this particular uh, text there is yet another transition in this responsibility of ambassadorship in the gospel text we see that god is moving toward a collective ambassadorship but here in this particular uh, second corinthian text uh, paul writes to the community paul writes to the uh, church in corinth and uh, he calls the community as ambassadors for christ so there is yet another transition from a group ambassadorship to a collective community ambassadorship the whole community becomes uh, ambassadors for christ we are the ambassadors you uh, a collective uh, entity uh, you are the ambassadors and uh, that is a great movement my dear friends so in this particular theme we see that the whole church of god becomes an ambassador the whole church of god new israel in the old israel it was individuals in the beginning of the new israel it was some it was it was a particular group now it becomes that the whole church of god is becoming the new israel including the jewish uh, christians and the gentile christians everybody together as people of god they become the church of god the ambassadors for christ even uh, i would like to tell you that paul uh, saint paul he did not claim that he was only the ambassador he says we are the ambassadors and for that reason paul was not doing an individual always individual mission he was having group of people always Timothy, Titus, Archippus, Philemon, Onesimus, it goes on and on and on. Because it was a collective, it was a community ambassadorship. Even I would like to tell you that it was not only men who were the ambassadors. It was women who became ambassadors of Christ. Because in Roman 16th chapter, as I always uh, interpret, there are 12 ambassadors. a uh, women ambassadors you please go and read romans 16th chapter where we have 12 women uh, only one or two of them are unnamed all of them are named 12 women are ambassadors of christ both men and women equally becoming ambassadors of christ that is the thing my dear friends i should finish now and uh, what is the responsibility of the ambassador to be a representative of the kingdom of god to be a representative of the kingdom of god so individuals we are representatives of the kingdom of god a group of people a collective entity becoming the representatives of the kingdom of god and finally my dear friends the whole church of god the new israel becoming the representative of the kingdom of god for proclamation and action i repeat for proclamation and action and in that sense the lord is with us the same lord who promised um, joshua that i will be with you wherever you go the same lord promises in matthew 28 to 20 i will be with you for the end of this world to the till the end of this world i'll be with you go and be my ambassadors let us all take this responsibility and proclaim the gospel and do the actions of grace for the glory of god amen